He wants all of us to get our mind right, repent, and turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God, like he said from the beginning. Right. He didn't make no mistake when he created the laws. He didn't make no mistake when he told us, keep the laws of God. Right. Keep the commandments. He wasn't, God didn't make no mistake. This ain't about color. This ain't about color. But it is in fact about race. Right. Make no mistake. All right? So what we're asking you is not for the sake of racism or for the sake of uh, uh, prejudice colored by, by the color of your skin, but more so about the content of your heart. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to guide our people to Christ. To Christ. Because you know what happened? You can say you white, but we come from the same place. And you know what happens in the place that we come from, bro? Violence, right. murder, right. theft, right. adultery, covetousness, all right. evil happens in the hood where we both come from. What am I proving? I too, what am I, I proving also though? I also believe in, um, uh, uh, wait, God, ready, everybody. I believe nope, that. that's not true. Where you, where you find that at? Where you get that understanding from? It doesn't. Exactly it doesn't. I'll show you. It, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it up. What the Bible say? What's your name, bro? I'm Tony. You Tony? Say it again. Tony. Tony, my brother. So this is what the Bible say. Because what you say, they say it don't say, Tony. But this is what it say. And it's the complete opposite. Watch this. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord, thy God. So it says thou. Thou is a very possessive word, and thy is a very possessive word. Right? Watch this. The Lord, thy God, hath chosen thee. Now, who is he talking about? The Lord, our God has chosen thee. Us, right? Go back to one and one. Chapter one, verse one. Let's find out if he's talking about the whole world. Let's find out if he's talking about everybody or if he's talking about one people. Bring it up. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. Bring it up. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? All Israel. So what happens, Tonio, is a lot of people get their hands on our records, our people's records, and they include themselves in what they read in our records. Like somebody take, you got a baby? You ain't got no kids? So you are somebody's kid, right? Now let's say your mother, your father made a photo album, wrote down history, this your auntie, this your uncle, this your this and that, and then somebody break into your house and steal that. And then they say, this is my uncle, this is my auntie, this is my baby boy. That's what happened with our records. Right. Somebody got their hands on it, stole it, and then included themselves in our records, in our history. Right. That's what happened, Tonio. But make no mistake, the Bible and God is only talking to one people, and that is Israel. Read it again and made something up. Watch this. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Israel is a nation of people. Right. Israel is a race of people. And this is who the Bible is talking to and talking about. Israel, the children of Israel. Come on. on. Or go back. Deuteronomy. Come on. Chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art in holy people. So now we know who the Lord is talking to and about when he says, For thou art in holy people. The children of Israel are holy people. Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. Your God. The word thy is possessive. It means your. Your God. Why is it your God? Because there's nobody else's God. Yes, Let's get that in Amos. Let's get, matter of fact, no, I'm in the midst of this. Joel 2. Joel 2. Thank you. 
Joel 2. Watch this. I'm going to show you that that word and that, 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 that same dynamic, the Lord only being the God of Israel, is the same, is consistent all throughout the Bible. That's right. Straight throughout the Bible. The whole Bible is only four and two, one people, and that's the children of Israel. Hey, boy. Blank period. Come on. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it up. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. We just read that. Who Moses was sent to teach and talk to and guide and direct back out of the sins that they were learning in the nations that they were carried captive into, which was Egypt at the time. Learning all the way of the Egyptians, all the ways of the Egyptians. Okay, we just stand there and listen. Stand there and listen. Just stand there and listen, all right? Watch this. And then I... And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God is in the midst of Israel. Just like we just read in Deuteronomy. Just like we just read in the first five books of the Bible. Now we deeper into the Bible saying the same thing. God is having to reestablish and restate. I am only in the midst. I'm only dealing with Israel. I'm only talking to Israel. But people keep getting their funky hands on our records and our books and including themselves into it. Really? Now we all confused thinking that everybody's equal, and it's in the it's not in the Bible. The Bible ain't say that, ain't never said that. Come on, and that I am the Lord, your God, Come on. and none else. God ain't a God to nobody but who He said He was a God to, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are now, who I mean, who was then called the Israelites, who was in the Bible called the Israelites. Go back to where we was. God said that he is the Lord, our God. He's chosen us. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. Now, what makes us holy, Tony? And this is the point that I was trying to make. It's not so much about skin color because I'm much bright, lighter than you. A lot of our people are much lighter than me. Right? So it ain't about that. It's about guiding our people back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God. So what happens in our community stops. Ain't no killing. Good. So when we say we holy, bro. It has to be founded upon us keeping the law, statutes, commandments of God. But you know what we feel about that nowadays, bro? That's corny. We can't do that. They don't get me no money. They don't get me no hoes. That's what we think about that. Am I lying? When you see somebody coming with a Bible, what you think about? And they cool? That's the cool guy? No, that ain't what we think. We think, man, that nigga corny. <laughs> right? We think choir boy. We think all those corny things that go along with it. But that ain't what the, this Bible ain't about no religion. Right. That's the thing we've been taught. We've been lied to about that, so that man can control you using the Bible as a weapon against you. Right. That's how the Bible has been weaponized against us by teaching our people that it's religion, and it's not religion. It's not religion. Right. How, however, the laws of God does require discipline. The laws of God does require discipline. If a man wants a woman, watch this. Uh, Deuteronomy, I mean, um, Exodus chapter twenty-two, verse sixteen. Bring it out. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. If a man, you spent game to a sister, what we do to him? Well, why we spent game to a sister, bro? What's the hope? What's the intentions? Yeah, we're trying to slay, right? But the Bible, the, the, the word of God gives us wisdom on how to move. Because we, you know, if you, if you, if you, if your spirit is right, if your spirit ain't, 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 uh, what they got, uh, the, the gay, right? What they call it now, the homosexual, you, you're going to talk to a sister. You're going to try to deal with a woman, right? If you're a man, and vice versa for a sister to a man, right? If she ain't a homosexual, she's going to try to deal with a man. But the Lord, the wisdom of God, it teaches us how to navigate in that scenario. That's, that's what man and female. Huh? That's what male and female. What you mean? You might can't talk to a sister if a sister claiming to be a brother that's already on. <laughs> hey, nowadays you just got to be careful, right? But the, You got to worry about that too. Yeah, but, but look, the Lord, <laughs> you ain't lying. You ain't lying. So the laws of God, it teaches us how to navigate all this, including the, the wickedness in our society today, which is you might have a transformer amongst you. And you think that it's a you think that it's a bad thing. You know, you think that it's a bad battle, whatever y'all call it here in South Carolina. Really? You think it's a peace. But no, it, you know, <laughs> you know, watch this. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Bring it up. And if a man entice a maid, so what is entice going into? If a man entice a maid, meaning a sister. If a man entices a sister, what is that going into? A man enticing her. He told him, oh, we spit game. Hey, baby, come here, let me talk to you just for one second. I ain't trying to take the whole day up and all that. Let me just, you know what I mean? You know what we do, right? So if a man entices a maid, come on. 
That is not the truth. And she, you know, she ain't dealing with nobody. Again, he ain't trying to commit adultery. Now he ain't trying to take nobody. Girl, he ain't trying to. Do, he just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Deal with a sister. Watch this. And lie with her. He end up smashing. You know what I'm saying? That game was strong. He end up smashing. Right? Watch this. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. So use that same game not to make her a hoe. Yeah, you right. smash and leave. Right. You leave her with the baby. What is that one? What you just made that woman? A hoe. So the word, the word of God, the laws of God, it's not religion, it's wisdom. How do we move that when the other nations see our people, they see the wisest and greatest people on the planet? That's right. right. That's what the laws of God is. Not religion. Right? You know what type of man or what type of God is going to take to stop a nigga from killing his brother, to stop a nigga from selling dope, right. to stop a nigga from laying with his brother. Right. You know what type of man it's going to take to do that. So why are we allowing Christianity to teach us the stupid thought that is this thing? No, 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 a real one coming. Right. <laughs> a real one coming to stop all the evil, and that's the real God. That's right. the God of this Bible. Right. I'm just trying to help you with the that's thought. Right. Huh? That's what? This one. Go with the Bible say. I thought ain't nobody never seen Jesus' face. That's a lie, too. Christianity taught you that. They, we've been lied to thoroughly, bro. Thoroughly. Watch this. Yeah, start at verse 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Real. Oh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revela what revelation mean? The revealing of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Which God gave unto him come on. to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Come on. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Come on. Who bear record. Who did what? Bear record. What it mean to bear record? When you take a picture of something. You bear record to it. So he told John to do what? Come on. Who bear record of the word of God. Come on. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Come on. And of all things that he saw. Uh, that he what? That he saw. Bear, no, no, no. Bear, bear record means you wrote it down. You took a picture. You made sure to record record. You made sure to record what it is that you saw. But it felt like it was true. You said shocked or amazed? No, 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 no. Because what happened was what? This happened to us. And if you didn't, if there was no record, what happened when you try to pick up a record in these days? What happened if you try to pick up a, a record, a book and read it? What happens? No, 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 no. What happened if, the, if, if your slave master, this is slavery, right? You getting killed for it. That was the law. No, they, nobody read us our record, bro. No, they we, used to teach slaves like, just to read only for them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they would teach them certain scripts to isolate. Yeah, that was called the slave Bible. That was a, a Bible. It was like two verses in there. That's it. It was a big book with empty pages and then a few verses in some of the pages. That's it. That was called a slave Bible. You can Google that. This right here, this one, this is us on the, this is our people. No, no, this was us, how we was packed on these boats. See this? These are people. These are these little lions. These are people. Yeah. This is how we was packed on these boats. Huh? Cold feet? Yeah, hell yeah, it was cold. <laughs> you got on shoes right now. They ain't got on no shoes. No, they ain't dead. Some of them was dead. We died a lot. Most of us died coming to slavery right. from Africa. Most of us died that way. So these are the feet. Yeah. Oh, this right here? This is the cell. These are real signs. These right here are actual slave for sale signs. Like real, they got these in museums today. All these are the actual records, right? You can Google it on online and see all this stuff. The white man kept records of what he did to our people. Right. This is what you're looking at. This is what actually happened right here. So, but in these days, it was illegal for a black man to read. Right. It was illegal. You'll be put to death. That was punishable by death. Right. If you found reading. If you want to hide, that's it. That's it. That was beat into us for many, many generations. Right? It was bred into us. Watch this. Go back to that part. Revelation chapter 1, verse 2. Bring it up. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. So with the testimony is what you tell somebody. Right? What they see you do. Right? So you, John going to write it down. He going to bear record of, he, okay, I seen him. And then he healed. And then he did this. And then he did that. Of everything he saw of Jesus Christ. Now watch this, along with writing it down, the testimony, watch this, and of all things that he saw, of all things that he what? That he saw, John saw, 
Jesus the Christ. Right. He believed it. Yeah, he believed it. Watch this. Jump up, jump down to verse 13. Watch, I'm gonna prove it. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. Why? Because Jesus had been gone from 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 uh from, uh, John ain't seen Jesus in what 60 years? About 60 years. It was 60 years since John seen Jesus the Christ. Why? Because he had been crucified, he died, he rose again, and ascended into the heavens. Nobody saw him in 60 years. Right. But John walked with Christ. Right. Walked with Christ. He was personally taught by Christ. Right. And thousands of other other disciples. Right? Watch this. So he says, It's I'm looking and I'm seeing somebody. That look like they're the son of man. Look like Jesus Christ. Right. How would he know what Jesus Christ looked like? Or know that somebody looked like Jesus Christ except he saw him before. Right. Right? right? Watch this. Read it again. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a body. He wasn't a puff of smoke. He wasn't a ghost. He had on clothes. That's what garment mean. He had on a garment. Come on. And gird about the paps with that golden girdle. He had it. He was in his power. He wasn't down here like no regular man no more. He had on the golden girdle now, right? Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his ha his head and his hairs were white. White is a color. A lot of times we we think uh, when you hear the word white, we think of a uh, Caucasian race. Right. That's not what is white. No, there is no man this color. See this color right here. See white. See your shoes. See the Air Forces? Ain't no man walking around that color. I don't care what your race is. Nobody's walking around that color. So when the Bible says his hairs were white, it's talking about the color of his hairs. That's facts, and I don't blame him for that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but his head and his hairs were white like wool. And wool is what? Wool is a texture. Wool is a texture, like when you say woolly. That's a texture. That's a, Wool is not a color. Because you can actually find wool in all colors, black, brown, white, yellow. You can find wool in a lot of different colors, right? But woolly is a texture. This is the texture of wool, like your hair under that hat, right. like the hair on my face, like right. the brother right there, head on his hair. Our people's hair is white, uh, is woolly. Christ's hair was white because that's what happens to our people when they're full in age. The hair, the hair is on Christ's head and face. That's what the Bible is describing. White in color and woolly in texture. Come on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. What happened when we drink a little wine? When we drink a little strong drink. What happened to our eyes? They get where well, they get red. Yeah, they get red. That's what happens. Like this. See the whites of his eyes, they become red. This is the testimony that Jesus I mean that John is seeing of Jesus. This is it. But look at this. Where, where, where do we get the, where where so far do we have a depiction of these images anywhere in the Bible? Where? Please show me. That's yeah, that's their favorite one, right? This one, this they go to. This on everybody wall. This on grandma wall. They say this on the church wall. This everywhere, but it's nowhere in the Bible. Christ, right. it, it does not exist. We have been bamboozled, people. Right. We have been like, please, I give anybody whatever they ask me for that I have. Right now, if somebody can show me that in the Bible. Say it again. That's the truth after all these years. We've been believing for so long. Oh, you said, well, well, I just, well, nowadays, our people down there ready to kill us when we say black. Right. Bring it up. You, are, you listen, and you like, yo, you following along. You, but most of our people, we got, listen, we got to train. Because people want to kill us for telling them they're the greatest people on the earth. People want to kill us for telling them the real Jesus Christ is a black man. So right. That's right. Right. They want to kill us for that. Like Say it again. So we can walk with Christ like how John did. Yes, if we keep the commandments. Right. right. If we keep the commandments. Yeah, this is a this is a demon. That's a demon. That's a joke. You, you if you believe this, God is going to kill you. He's going to kill you. Right. This is chapter 22. Verse 12. I'm going to show you. Watch this. Because a lot of people be like, well, what color does it matter? What, what does color matter? Why does it matter that he wasn't? Why can't Jesus be whatever I want to imagine him as? Okay. Watch this. Read on. Read this. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. This is the New Testament. This ain't the Old Testament. This is the New Testament. And this is Christ speaking, by the way. Come on. And behold, 
I come quickly, come and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, Read. the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So again, he, you always going to hear from the beginning of the Bible to the end, you must keep the commandments of God. Right. They are not done away with. Christ did not die on the cross so that you can be a demon. That's a lie. Christ himself said you must do the commandments. Blessed are they that do the commandments. Read on. That they may have right to the tree of life. That's when we walk in with Christ. When we've been blessed for keeping the commandments of God. And, and given the tree of life, meaning we live forever. Like we were always created to do. We're going to be given, we're going to be given that back, that power back. Alright? That's when we'll walk with Christ like John did. Come on. And may enter in through the gates into the city. The city is the kingdom of heaven. Come on. But without are dogs and sorcerers and the whoremongers and murderers uh -huh. and idolaters uh -huh. and whosoever loveth and, and whosoever loveth come on and make it a lie. What's a lie? This is a lie. Right. Whoever loves this lie will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's right. In fact, be killed when the black Messiah returns. That's he's right. To kill. With, the, with this color mat, he's killing you for that. Right. That's a death sentence. Our grandmothers, our mothers, our grandfathers been taught this lie and taught us this lie. So now we, we go with it. And it's been, but it's not. It's going to get them and us killed. We must repent and go back to John. Yeah. We must repent and get back to what the truth of God is. Why is the, why does it matter what he looked like? Because the truth matters. That's right. God, if he said he black, why don't we think that it's okay to say no, God? Your son is not black. He is white. Yo. He is white. And it doesn't matter that you think he's black. Who the hell is we to reply against God? Right. But that's what we've been taught. That's what our mothers, our grandmothers, our great, great, great. That's what we've been taught. That's what they've been taught. It's a lie. And Christ said, just said, you will not make the kingdom of heaven. Right. You will not make the kingdom of heaven for any lie, especially that one. Read. John chapter 7, verse 38. Read. He that believeth on me. As the scripture hath said. Christ said, he that believeth on him, as the scripture said. Does the scripture say this? Is Jesus Christ? Bring it up. Absolutely not. There can be nothing further from a lie than this. The scripture say he looks like that. So the Bible says, Christ says, he that believeth on him, as the scripture say. Come on. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of that man, out of that woman's belly. Shall flow rivers of living water, meaning what? That eternal life, that tree of life we just read about, that he said he's going to reward us with for keeping the commandments. That's the blessed are they that do the commandments. Right. That's what Christ is so that's what the whole Bible is talking about. That's right. We've been lied to in Christian church. Now we confused and bugged out. We think we can murder, and it's all good with Christ. We know. It's all, Jesus Christ is all right with me. Let's get that again. Uh, Sirach chapter 12, verse yeah. 6. Because we've been taught what? God hate the sin, but love the sin. Ain't that we've been taught? Who heard that before? Everybody heard that before, right? Let's, let's see what the Bible says. Come on. Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6. Or Ecclesiasticus, come on. For the Most High hateth sinners. The Most High what? Hateth sinners. And will we pay vengeance unto the ungodly? God hates sinners. God hates sinners. And he said he's going to repay vengeance unto the ungodly. That's what we just read in Revelation when Christ said, I come quickly and my reward is with me. To give to every man according as his works. Right. Whether it was evil or good. He's if you've done evil, he's going to bring, he's going to magnify that evil against you. You've done good, he's going to increase you a hundredfold in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Yes, sir. That's why I said, blessed, go back to Revelations where we was. We yeah. was reading about Christ. Our people think this is Christ. Like my man said, especially this one right here. Everybody seen this. We had a dude come. We had when we we, we teach like this all the time. Yeah, they're gonna make sure you say your grace before you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, that's, you you spot on with that. People walk past that and do that and before they continue about a lie, about a demon. That's a demon. The Bible calls that the devil. <laughs> but we've been taught lies, so we don't even know the very thing that's going to kill us. We don't even know. Right. It's crazy. Come on. Where we at? Come on. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do.
do his commandments. The Bible says, blessed are they that do, that do the commandments. That do the commandments. No, God don't hate the sin and love the sinner. No, right. he, go, he hates both. The sinner and the sin. Right. Psalms chapter 5 verse 5. God hates both. He hates all evil, whether it's the person or the thing that the person doing. He hates it all, and he's going to repay it. Right. He's going to destroy it. He's going to kill it. And or you. Come on. Psalm chapter 5, verse 5. Bring it out. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The foolish is those who hear the word of God and know it, learn it, and don't do it. They shall not stand in God's sight. Come on. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Iniquity is sin. God hates all. Everybody that commits sin. Right. Every, he don't care how rich or poor. He don't care how unfortunate or fortunate. He don't care how smart or dumb you are. If you are in sin, he hates you. Right. The reason he sent Christ is because he doesn't want to hate you to death. He wants to give, give me Second Peter chapter 3, verse 6. Yeah. He wants to give everybody a chance to repent. He right. wants to give everybody a chance to say, yo, I'm evil as hell. I got to stop this. I know, I know I'm going to die. Because I just heard the brothers tell me that I got to keep the laws and the statutes and the commandments of God. So I know I'm a I got to change. I got to I got to cut this out. That's why Christ came so that we can get our minds right and stop the evil. Right. right. Not continue in the evil just because he came. Well, Christ died, so now we can just stay evil. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you for we can stay evil now. That's not why Jesus, that makes us dumb as hell. But that's what we think, sis. That's what we think. And we taught that in our church. Watch this. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. He said he's going to kill you if you commit sin, right? He said that he hates all workers of iniquity. He said that he's going to repay vengeance upon the evil, right? That's what God said. He ain't slack concerning that. He said he's going to destroy this second world with fire because the first was destroyed with what? Water. Right. Water killed everything on earth. Now he said, when I come back, if y'all in evil this time, it's going to be by fire. That's right. By fire. And he's not slack concerning that promise, he said. That is a promise. That's a guarantee. He ain't slack concerning that. Come on. And some men count slackness. Come on. And somebody might think, well, where he at? We ain't say, I, I didn't die. Came back. My, my, my grandmama died. My her mama died. My brother. It's been 10 generations. God ain't slack as concerning his promise. As some men may count slackness. As some men may say, man, he ain't, he ain't coming. That's how man think. Come on. But it's long suffering. But it's what? Long suffering. That means that he wants us to get right. right. He's suffering watching his, his children, his babies in evil. He mad as hell. And he holding on in hopes that y'all get right. Real. In hopes that we repent. Stop the evil that we do. Right. That's the hope. Stop believing on this demon. Even though he told you that's the devil. That That is the devil on earth. Right. That's in the Bible. That we all claim we believe in, that we all claim we got, right. and we don't read it. It's in the Bible. That's the devil. Right. That's in the Bible. Watch this, come on. But he's long suffering to us. Work. He's long suffering to us. Work. Just like in the Old Testament. No different than the New. He's long suffering to us. Work. Come on. Not willing. Not willing. He doesn't will. He doesn't want. Come on. That any should perish. That any of us should die. He wants all of us to get our mind right, repent. And turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God, like He said from the beginning. Right. He didn't make no mistake when He created the laws. He didn't make no mistake when He told us keep the laws of God. Right. Keep the commandments. He wasn't God. Didn't make no mistake. Don't give me so Ecclesiastes chapter seven verse twenty nine. Read out. We figured out how to do evil. God didn't say, "Hey, do evil. Don't worry about it, because I'm gonna send Jesus. Then you all be good." He said, "Keep the commandments." That's right. We took it upon ourselves to do evil. We're going to get this, then we're going to get into some laws. Come on. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Read out. Lo, this only have I found, Come on. that God has made man upright. God made man exactly how he wanted. God made, made man with all his wisdom. The same wisdom that made this oxygen and, 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 and uh, what is it, H2O, oxygen and water, and, and, and you drink it and you sustain, you're nourished and all of that. You don't know how he made that. Right. You can't recreate it yourself. Right. right. The same entity that created all these unexplainable miracles that you live by also gave you wisdom. He also gave you a way to live. He also created you to follow his wisdom. God has made man upright, perfectly. He made you perfect. He made the woman perfect. Right. Come on. But they have sought out 
many inventions, but they took it upon themselves to go invent evil. They took it upon themselves to learn how to go exactly against it. Bring it out. Man did that. God didn't do that. Neither did God make a mistake when he made you upright. Can't nobody keep the law. That's why he can't, that's why he said, no, God said, Christ said, keep be you perfect. Give me that, uh, Matthew 5 and 48. Bring it out. Real Bring it quick, out. then uh, Exodus chapter 22. I mean 20, come on. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Bring it out. Be therefore perfect. Even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Did God just, did Christ just send you on a suicide mission? Okay, no, we all fall short. Ain't this all, the, all these stupid, cliche sayings that we've been growing up learning in church. But, you know, our, unfortunately, our parents taught us some of these stupid uh, terms. Right. They don't make no sense. Christ said, what? Well, read it again. Be therefore perfect. Christ said, this is, show them the red letters. Show the people what it means when it's red letters in the Bible. Jesus speaking, right? Jesus said, what? Well, read it again. Be ye therefore perfect. Come on. Even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. He said, y'all better behave just like God up in heaven. Right. Just like your Father. When y'all have babies, what y'all teach them? Your wisdom. Don't you run on the street. You better look both ways. Don't you join no gang. Don't you steal. Don't you go on doing no evil. Ain't that what y'all teach your babies? But for some reason, we think God made a bunch of bastards. We think God made a bunch of bastards. No, he taught us how to behave just like him. Right. He took it upon ourselves to go and learn all the way to the heathen who has no God. Right. Who has no father in heaven. Who has no laws. Give, let's get um, uh, Exodus. Anybody confused so far? Anybody got any question? Maybe something you heard in church like, is it true? Can you prove this in the Bible? Can y'all show me this? Anybody got any questions so far? All right, come on. Just let me know. Interrupt me at any time with a question. All right? Come on. No. Start with, no, 20. The law. Let's get some laws. Let's start with 8. It's the Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath, family. Right? This is the law that God established as a covenant between Israel and himself. That we are his children. We must keep the Sabbath. Everybody must keep the Sabbath. But that's first and foremost so that we can enforce the Sabbath. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Read it out. Remember the Sabbath day. Why would God have to say remember it? Because man has sought out many inventions. Man now, man not a thought and took it upon themselves. I got to go shopping today. I, I, I got to go club today. I got to go do all these things aside from remembering and keeping the Sabbath as God said to keep it. So God said, remember the Sabbath day. Remember it, children. Remember it. Remember it. Remember. Don't forget, remember it. Come on. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Meaning, remember the Sabbath day, not just in thought, and but to keep it holy. Meaning, do by the Sabbath what God said is how you keep it. The Sabbath has laws. It's a way that you do, you're supposed to behave on this day that's separate than any other day. Yes, you're supposed to keep the commandments every day, but this day, you're not supposed to buy, sell, work, cook, clean. All these things, you're, you're supposed to, the, the word Sabbath means day of rest. You are supposed to rest just like your Father in Heaven is resting today. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what Friday sundown to today sundown is the Sabbath of the Lord. We're right. not supposed to be doing anything. We're not. I know we're in captivity, so some of us are forced to work. That's between you and the Lord. You better pray that he have mercy on you for that. Right. But his, the law says, the law says, no work. No selling, no buying, and we're going to read it. Come on. Six days shall thou labor. No hustling. Come on. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Come on. In it thou shalt not do any work. The Bible says thou shalt not do. This ain't just my words. This ain't just my opinions. Read out. This ain't just some weirdos out in purples and saying some crazy stuff. Right. The Bible, we read in the Holy Bible. Read right. the Bible and read along with us. Read it again. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Come on. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant. Once upon a time we had servants, family. Once upon a time we weren't the servants. We had servants. We was the rulers of this earth. Once upon a time. So the brother that left earlier, uh, my brother, I forget his name, Antonio, I think. Mm -hmm. he, he was he was state, this is not about religion, neither is it about race. It's about guiding our people back to the commandments of God, back to righteousness. That's Why? Right. Because we have a rightful place on earth, and you're not standing in it right now, black man, That's black woman. Right. right. 
You're on the bottom right now, Black Pan and Black Woman. Right. We about rising up and rising our people back up to their rightful position on earth. And right. it's only by way of the commandments and us keeping them. Right. That's the only way that we'll be back on top, ruling this earth. That's right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.